Welcome to Night Prayer for Wednesday, June 10th. The God of peace grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. The angels of God guard us through the night and quiet the powers of darkness. The Spirit of God be our guide to lead us to peace and to glory. It is but lost labor that we haste to rise up early and so late to take our rest and eat the bread of anxiety. For those beloved of God are given gifts even while they sleep. We have wounded your love. O oh God, heal us. We stumble in the darkness. Light of the world, transfigure us. We forget that we are your home. Spirit of God, dwell in us. Eternal Spirit, living God, in whom we live and move and have our being, all that we are, have been and shall be is known to you in the very secret of our hearts you know all that rises to trouble us living flame burn into us cleansing wind blow through us fountain of water well up within us that we may love and praise in deed and in truth Amen. A reading from the Gospel of Matthew. Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have not come to abolish, but to fulfill. For truly I tell you, until heaven and earth pass away, not one letter, not one stroke of a letter will pass from the law until it is all accomplished. Therefore, whoever breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do the same will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever does them and teaches them will be called great in the kingdom of heaven. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks be to God. As we come to the end of another day, how did you follow God's commandments? Commandment is a heavy word. I often feel like commandments are orders. Orders can feel like someone else telling us what to do and how to live. That's not particularly comfortable for me. I'm very stubborn when someone tells me what I must do. I'm much better if someone asks me. Orders are tricky for me. Now, there are a lot of orders right now, and many of them are good orders. The orders to stay physically distant and keep safe. These have been good orders. Some orders, orders that use violence to solve differences, orders that divide because of race or are just blatantly racist. These are not good orders. They are, in fact, sin. There are many kinds of orders. Tonight, Jesus tells us that not one commandment will pass away. Commandments aren't orders. They aren't a set of rules to be strictly followed 
they are in fact the way the ways God wants us to live together with each other in God's beloved kingdom here on earth right now in Sunday school we call them the best ways ways we live together not because we have to although it's a good idea but because that is the best way the way the Holy Spirit asks us to pulls and pushes and draws us to live right relationship with God and each other and Jesus sums them up into just two best ways love God and love our neighbor as ourselves that's it so simple so deep to love God we need to love our neighbor we need to love ourselves not always an easy thing to do but to do that even to try to do that is to be faithful to do that is to follow God's best ways God's commandments as we look back over the day how have you loved God today how have you loved your neighbor how have you loved yourself I could have asked how were you kind how did you show compassion did you smile did you support causes that needed it people that needed it did you respect the dignity of every human being how did you love yourself how did you banish that hurtful inner talk that tells you you are less than God's own beloved there are many ways that we follow the commandments every day take a moment and thank God for the opportunities to be faithful today as we look back over the day where did someone love God by loving you caring for you showing you kindness and compassion letting you know that you were not alone take a moment and give thanks for those people who lived out in action the commandments of God today and if you missed some opportunities if you let them slip by don't worry we all miss opportunities each and every day and tomorrow is a new day with new possibilities and new opportunities as we come to the end of the day how did you follow God's commandments amen Preserve us, O God, waking, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, now you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. Mine own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory be to God, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Preserve us, O God, waking and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ 
and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, it is night. The night is for stillness. Let us be still in the presence of God. It is night after a long day. What has been done has been done. What has not been done has not been done. Let it be. The night is dark. Let our fears of the darkness of this world and of our own lives rest in you. The night is quiet. Let the quietness of your peace enfold us, all dear to us and all who have no peace. The night heralds the dawn. Let us look expectantly to a new day, new joys, new possibilities. In your name we pray. Amen. Keep watch, dear God, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted. Shield the joyous. And all for your love's sake. Amen. Gracious God, support us all the day long of this earthly life until the shadows lengthen and the evening comes. The busy world is hushed, the fever of life is over, and our work is done. Then, O God, in your mercy, grant us safe lodging, a holy rest, and peace at the last. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and peace at the last. Amen.